this little girl was a name, don't you? Don't. Comment for me in the comment section. That she, someone I literally came on your podcast and say uh, talking about money, whatever, whatever get out of man, whatever, whatever. Then you coming for me in the comment section, and I'm putting it to you like this, don't you? As you did like that, like this. Can you move with a broke guy? Hi you- guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl AZ Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, like white money set fire on the mountain yesterday. So white money went on this podcast, you know, this one podcast with Nedu or Epinodu and his um crew, which is called, I think, the Honest Bunch. Yes, guys. I mean, we've previously had ex Brother Niger housemates like Doyin. We had Fina there some time back. And now, White Money. What brought White Money to this show? Because of that, his video where he practically said that every woman or no woman is out of your league. That caused him issues with, you know, actress Victoria Ayama and all that. Yes, guys. So, White Money said a lot. And got plenty reactions, guys. They've been dragging white money since yesterday. But surprisingly, somehow, they found a way to squeeze Fina into the whole mess. But thank God, Fina has not, you know, chook mouth in this whole thing. She has not responded, even though these people are also insulting her in a matter that has absolutely nothing to do with her. Now, what exactly did white money say? So white money you know, further explained himself saying that what he meant, you know, by that statement is that a man should focus on, you know, building wealth, making money because I mean, leave chasing woman for now and make money because when you make money, even if a woman does not agree for you, the thing is you have the courage to talk to any woman you want. Basically, that's what he meant. He also went ahead to, you know, drag doing saying that, I mean, can you imagine that small girl or that little girl doing, you know, had the guts to come, you know, under his comments, you know, to say stuff about or to criticize him or to drag him about that video. Meanwhile, it's the same doing, you know, that came on this same show. I started saying, no, that uh, women should collect money from men and all those whatnots. That she cannot be contradicting herself. You know, she cannot be saying something and then going ahead to drag him for saying the exact same thing. He, she, he also went ahead to talk about Big Brother Niger girls. You know, how some of them just go to the show to showcase their bodies. No talent whatsoever. When it comes to tax zero, all they do in the house is just to make out, to kiss, to fight and all that. That they, you know, like basically they contradict contribute nothing and when they now come out some of them meet him so that he will help them you know connect to his friends and it's not for business basically it's not for business that this girl just do it because of hookup you know that there were some girls you know big brother niger girls that do the whole hookup issue and all that and he said there are two big brother niger girls from his set that he absolutely respects first is nini and the second is angel that angel is you know forget everything that people say about her call her loose and everything but angel is very focused she has three brands you know she's working with you know that is there's somebody that he would actually recommend men to work with it has to be angel he also dragged the level of season people he's saying you know that in this level of season how many of them actually did showcase themselves and the lady presenter one of the presenters was like the winner did he said yes he's not going to be counting the one percent but majority of them did not sell themselves he went back you know to talk about doing he talked about you know what he has done for doing and all that almost it was a lot yes guys of course nedu was there adding you know fuel to the fire making him talk 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 you know white money at some point i actually felt he was you know bragging you know about you know himself bragging about you know his products that so many people that are dragging him don't even know that they use his product that he's into agriculture he's into real estate he's into um various things even into health that if you go to some of the pharmacies his products are there and people are using it not knowing that it's white money's product and all that that basically trolling people that are more than you is not good basically that's what he said in the last part so like that's a summary of what was said and all more nigerians were now having it with white money they decided to drag him or more they called him a microbladed guy i mean whatever the how can a guy be doing microblading like what 
what's wrong with his microblade now? <laughs> they also said, you know, that he's bleaching. They said a whole lot of things. But I'm going to be concentrating on what his fellow ex-Big Brother Ninja housemate had to say about this. Let's start with Doyen because now she collects, you know, the first drag from white money directly. So Doyen went on her Insta story and posted this and I'll read. She said, in your words, don't you, you know what I did for you? Guys, this bleached man met me at Intercontinental. I said hi to him and he said, oh, his manager li liked me a lot in the house and she would like to manage me. I told him to let me think about it and I'll call him in a few days. I did call him back a few days later to ask for her number. Is that what you did for me? You asked me if I'm mad. I'm not the one screaming at a microphone like a lunatic talking down on a woman just because she gave you the training you refused to get at home. You just proved your insanity to the to the entire internet. I'm not the man one here, boo. P.S. Calling me little or small doesn't make you big. You're on the ground. You're nothing in the grand scheme of things. Your microbladed brows look good, though. I'll consider getting one. And she tagged him. She also went ahead to call him a stupid little boy. Like, I literally read that in Doyin's voice like this is the kind of energy returning i love if somebody calls you out like white money did with his food chest reply with your food chest too um, uh, <laughs> i don't even know what to say about this because honestly i just love the basketballs going on here for like the first time in a long time big brother niger you know um ex housemates are actually dragging each other by their name so that we know who is being dragged here. That's all I have to say. I really don't know what to say about this. Well, JMK also went on to say, talking down on women gotta be the only way you get aroused because what is this? A damn shame. I guess a lot of people from his set had to comment because he dragged people from his set especially. Yes, guys. And um, Deji from Level Up said, let BBN girls rest in Jesus' name. Yes, guys. And that's not all. Tega also put this out and said, now, now, wow, how much be Mike Seth? Fraud put this out, basically like he's disappointed with the whole thing. Tricky T put this out and said, we that have been on the show BBN should be looking out for each other. Only us that have been there understand what it's like. We should not, you know, be saying stuff for clicks. Now, Princess from White Money said had a lot to say. This is what she said. At this point, guy, you don't they talk you don't they talk and do too much. Your type is the reason why every girl that come out of Big Brother are being looked down on. What about the likes of Tatcha Bisola to mention a few? These women have been working their ass off since they left the house. Only for a full grown man to open his mouth and spit nonsense all in the name of podcasts. What about the ones that ask you for business advice? and financial help what did you do how you help them this common sense is really not common we await his full list sir. i mean we await the full list sir. now in as much as i understand where princess is coming from but my issue here is when she's calling out women that are women from big brother niger that are working their asses off why didn't she include her name why did she have to omit her name why just tacha and bisola and she said to mention a few, but I mean, if I'm going to, you know, if, if it's me, I'd probably be like, um, AZ Nay and this person, because I mean, why are you excluding yourself from this? I'm not saying she's part of the people that, you know, White Money was talking about, because White Money actually said he's like, they're the 1% of them are there that are doing the work, but most of them know they are not doing anything. And Venita also had this to say, back to back, Miss Yannin on women, okay, Pina Colada. <laughs> <laughs> now why money they go they call Pina Colada like seriously anyways like ah uh, hmm big brother people get wahala you know I think the one that even made me laugh more was Sandra like Sandra literally wanted to insert herself in big brother Niger matter she put us out and said when I go just open on her mouth wow and somebody literally had to check her and said, please, no put mouth for this fight. This is BBN time. This is BBN time. Wait for Zansi. <laughs> okay, now, it actually dawned on me that a lot of people will not want to include BB Titan housemates 
in things that concern Big Brother Niger housemates because whenever they want to like talk, people will be like, how can you relate? You do not, you do not, your own big brother is different. Like it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long ride with this, you know, big brother people. At some time or at some point, I think there's going to be a clash between big brother Titan people and big brother Niger people because big brother Niger people are feeling like the original big brother people, their fans at least felt so or feel so. So let's see how this is going to go. Anyways, um, Big Brother Titan, ex-housemate Tabang, once again was put on the hot seat. Yes, guys. You know, a lot of fans from um, Nelisa's fans to Yemi's fans to Olivia's fans had a lot to ask him. But I'm just going to narrow it down to one or two occasions. There was this guy that literally was dragging him all in the name of asking a question. And I think it's a Yemi fan. He, the person was like, I mean, the way you were talking about Yemi, like there was no love in your life, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, ah, kilo day. Anyways, I'll put the question there, you know, for you guys to listen, how the guy asked the question. And you also listen to Tabang's response to all that. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day. Ahead. But there are certain things I saw about you that I still need to ask you. You're very, very vindictive. I had to bring out some scenarios in some of your actions in the house. Um, um, coming out from the Mali, um, from Nelisa's this thing, I don't know why you held on so much hot in your heart from the beginning of the show when you were with Nelisa to the end. You keep you you couldn't stop stop talking about. Him, um, I and um, you hear me? I don't know what those guys did to you that your their name didn't get out of your mouth. You were just looking for every way to just mod them. And these people came out, they don't even look or they didn't even say anything bad about you. They kept quiet, they kept it cool. But you were very vindictive. You mm -hmm. seems that you lack so much love in your heart that everything right, that Abraham, has to come out so from you was just hate. Please? I just want to know please. what exactly did. Yemi and um, Nelisa took from you that you were not just ready. Well, um, an answer for, for that uh, earlier on. But in regards to Yemi, um, I think you, you do understand what I what I was getting at. And yeah, so I do admit that maybe at the time, I didn't have a right to say that. So yeah, I do take that back.